Today I'm going to show you how to embroider Converse style tennis shoes on a single needle machine. Okay, so the first thing you do after you take off the shoelaces from the shoe, um, if your shoe has a label on it over here, go ahead and remove it. Use a seam ripper to remove it carefully. Um, I actually bought a generic pair of shoes. They don't have a label and that actually works perfectly for me. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is, is pick out your monogram. Um, these are a pretty small pair of shoes or kid size, so I actually used a very small monogram on this pair. Uh, it was only a one by one. And um, so it just kind of eyeball to see the right size based on the shoe that you have. So this is the monogram and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that'll look on there. Um, and then you'll go ahead and hoop some tearaway stabilizer in, in a four by four hoop. And the other supplies that I like to use are is blue painter's tape and um, double stick tape. And I also use just a little bit of uh, 505 spray. Um, and then when I mark my centers, I'll do that um, using reinforcements. Uh, I, I just get these from the dollar store and I find them very helpful to mark the center. On, on the shoe. I'm going to go ahead and mark your center. So um, I, like I said, I use a reinforcement um, to mark the center point. Um, you can use, you know, the printout of your monogram and hold it up and just see about where that center is going to be and make sure it looks good to you. And that's exactly where I want it. So um, now we're ready to go ahead and use the um, hoop, the 4x4 hoop with uh, the tearaway stabilizer in it. Um, I have a basting stitch that goes around the design already on the on the machine and we're going to go ahead and stitch out the basting stitch on the stabilizer so that we know where it goes. Okay, I have the embroidery design loaded onto the um, embroidery machine and I have it centered in the hoop right now. What we want to do is bring it down as low as we can. So right now I've got the design and the um, basting stitch. So we're just going to go ahead and move the whole thing down as low as it'll let us go with that hoop. Um, so it shows you there, it's, it stopped moving, so that's as low as it'll go. So then we're going to go ahead and hit embroidery. And as you can see, the basting stitch is the first thing it's going to stitch. I'm going to go ahead and lower my foot and start stitching. And it's going to go ahead and stitch just a square. And now we know where it needs to go in the hoop. Okay, so I've got the basting stitch in the hoop. And what I'm going to do next is take some double stick tape and go all the way around the edges of where it's basted, just the very edge, because this is what's going to help hold down, um, hold hold down the tongue while we're stitching. So I'm just going to go all four sides, just at the very edge of it, right there. Make sure it's down pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the 505 spray. I don't like to use very much of this stuff, and just do a one little sh shot in the center, just to hold it in place. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is find my center on using the reinforcement and um, put it about the center of that block right there. Let's kind of eyeball it. And then I'm going to push it down really good all the way around, making sure it's down as firmly as I can. And then I'm going to take my blue painter's tape and I'm going to use that around the edges of the, of the tongue as well to hold that down. So we're going to tape that, making sure that you're going to be out of the area of stitching. And it may not stick down right away. Just do, do the best you can to kind of hold it, hold it all down. You're actually going to be holding the tongue the entire time you're stitching. So don't be too concerned. Um, you know, just try to get it so it doesn't really move off the stabilizer. Okay, so the next thing will be to go ahead and put the hoop on the machine with the, with the uh, shoe on. And you'll be holding it very carefully while it's embroidering and making sure that it's staying clear of, um, of, the, of the needle and the presser foot except for the tongue part. So let's go ahead and put our, our presser foot down and start embroidering. Once 
I had it on the machine, I realized I forgot a step, and that was I had every intention of putting some water-soluble stabilizer over it when I did the blue painter's tape, and I forgot that step. So hopefully, like me, you won't forget that. But I think it still looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, trim my stitches. But once you peel back that painter's tape, and you can just pull it off, um, off the stabilizer there, and you'll see, hopefully, that you're happy with your with your shoes um, that are now embroidered with the monogram. Now that you know, you can get stitching.